Hi, welcome to another episode of Beyond the Title, where we meet with extraordinary professionals, get to know who they are, what they do, and what makes them the person that they are. Joining us today is Pascal Lanou from NetReviews. Hi, Pascal, welcome. Hi, Steve, how are you? I am doing amazing, I'm doing amazing. How are you doing today? Well, still waking up, as I told you. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. I'm really fine and happy to start the day with uh, with you and and with Insider. Uh, now, if, do you still get uh, surprised by the t the the time change in, in Europe when we have the winter to to summer changes? Yes, uh, kind of. You know, I, I I didn't even notice we changed the time this weekend, and my team told me yesterday actually that we changed the time since Saturday. So I, <laughs> so it's you know, I don't understand anything about time changing because we were told that we would stop to do that actually, and uh, uh, I think it's the last time that we changed time, no. Fingers crossed, that has been said, exactly. So I'm hoping this will be the last one because when I started speak, uh, working on the Uplift APAC program, as you've seen on my LinkedIn recently, yeah. uh, all my times got changed so much that I was waking up around 4 a.m. to have calls with the <laughs> APAC versus five. Uh, that one hour is very important. Hey, Pastor, let's keep this about you. So tell me about this amazing picture of you uh, in your ski gear going up the ski lift. Where is that first? Yeah, it was oh, in the Alps in France, actually. And uh, this picture on which I look like a professional snowboarder, actually, <laughs> you know, it's not, it has been taken the first day of my life. I've been trying to do some skiing, actually. So I took some lessons and so on. It was, uh, uh, I'm not a ski guy, definitely. It has been <laughs> terrible. <laughs> and quite, not a bad experience, but exhausting and almost humiliating humiliating, you know, because I'm very bad at, at skiing, <laughs> and it's, you know, when you start something new and uh, and you understand that you should, you know, stay away from this, <laughs> that's terrible, actually. For my ego, it was a very bad day. Oh. But for my eyes, a wonderful day because it was a, it's a wonderful place. That is the one reason why I would, I would keep going to these amazing Alps or to the high altitudes, right? You get to see the beauty uh, yeah. covered in snow. Um, <laughs> good. Now, Pascal, this is where we get to know a little bit more about yourself yeah. and we get to know you beyond the title. So what is your guy? What's the reason you jump out of bed each morning? Okay. Uh, actually, honestly, it's uh, I'm convinced. I'm very happy every day to discover uh, some new things. Actually, I really uh, I, I have a kind of day-to-day uh, -day mindset. Actually, I don't plan you know things in two or three or five years. Personally, uh, on a professional level, yes, but not for uh, for my personal life. So every day is uh, some uh, a reason to to enjoy life, and I really think it uh, it sounds a bit you know, a bit empty when I say that, but I really enjoy every day and, uh, and the fact that I'm just, I will, I'm sure I will discover uh, something new every day, which is the case right now. It's the first time that I am uh, interviewed by Insider in <laughs> and, and, you know, so I'm starting today with the new things, meeting you again, I met you already, but it's a, 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 a real pleasure to, to be convinced that every day t uh, has, something, you know, a new thing to be discovered. Awesomeness, awesomeness. And for those of you who have not watched Pascal's amazing session moderation at Uplift EMEA, do watch it. Uh, it's with our amazing Jackie Barnett, who has been on BTT before, and with Marta Ogorokiewicz, uh, Ogor sorry, do apologize, who will be joining us uh, in a couple of weeks' time as well on BTT. I'll say hello for me. <laughs> will do, will do. Uh, so Pascal, now if life were a movie, which I definitely believe it is, yeah. what would be a uh, character you would play? Yeah, uh, how weird can be my answers actually when you <laughs> go <laughs> crazy, go yeah, crazy. Okay. Actually, if life were uh, was a movie, I would be one of the precog in um, in my uh, Minority Report. Actually, you know, if you remember <laughs> this movie with the three precogs, I would be one of them definitely. I, uh, <laughs> I don't say that because I like water, because they are staying in the water. But I, right. I do. I think I do have some uh, uh, precog powers, and I, I can feel things and see them coming sometimes. 
what's your precog uh, precognition uh, telling you now about the year uh, to come, the the Q four uh, of of twenty uh, twenty and uh, Q one of twenty twenty one? Yeah. I see, uh, I feel that this year, Christmas will be in December. This is something I've been feeling very, very, very strongly. I saw Christmas around end of December. And uh, uh, that's one of my pre-cog uh, intuition. And uh, I have another intuition in that uh, everything's going to be fine again very rapidly. Uh, that's uh, for sure. I am praying, knocking, and hoping for this definitely to pass. Uh, the first one, I am really fingers crossed on Christmas to definitely be in December, and for the second one, yes, uh, I, I, I'm going to I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to send you the clip of this uh, this side of the video, just yeah. because I do believe it's going to pass. It's going to come to pass. So yes, cool, awesomeness. Now. Um, you, you, you've been having such a busy time with net reviews right now. You guys are changing yeah. the brand to keepers. There's a lot going on. But if life was a hustle, you know, in the hustle of things, uh, you know, what keeps you sane? What, what's the one app that you definitely have to use every day to keep yourself sane and structured? Okay, actually, uh, Spotify helps me a lot for music, but as well for meditation podcast. I, I really started, you know, we are having a strange time right now. I, I'm very busy on a professional way and so on, but, you know, with uh, COVID and so on, the so time is a bit weird. And uh, for the first time in my life, I've been listening meditation podcast to, you know, to be more relaxed and, and to fall asleep more easily. And it kind of works, actually. I'm getting hypnotized uh, every <laughs> evening and fall asleep very rapidly and wake, wake up happy. So uh, do meditation podcasts. Uh, oh, awesome. I'm, I'm going to try them out. Meditation yeah. podcast. It's it's on Spotify, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just, you know, there look for meditation and you will find very easily some podcasts. So it's awesome. a nice thing, actually. Awesome. Uh, now, keeping in 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 tune with you know what we do at BTT is you know if you could turn back time, if you could go back to your first job, uh, you know what would you have done differently? Uh, nothing actually. My my first job, uh, I was very young. Uh, I was something like uh, fifteen years old and so on. Wow. It was a summer job. Uh, I was obsessed uh, at that time about with. Uh, speaking German and working. I, I really wanted to work very, very young, actually. And I found a summer job in, uh, in Germany. Uh, I was doing some kind of uh, assisting stuff for a German company, having many customers in France. And I worked there two summers in a row. And the wow. second time, the second summer, uh, my mother came to pick me up and she <laughs> met my boss. And they fell in love, and they got married, and I have two German sisters now. So it's God uh, bless. Yes. Oh wow, that is a brilliant story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would change nothing because if I change anything, I would be too afraid to, to you know, not having two wonderful sisters, half German, half French. Awesomely, awesomely said. Now you've got this love for languages, as you said. You, you went to Germany because you want to learn yeah. German, uh, but I see, of course, this this lovely uh, Arabic writing behind you, which says Beirut. Uh, are, are you also learning Arabic? Yeah, I'm learning Arabic. Uh, you know, uh, very progressively, so I can read Arabic now. Uh, when I speak Arabic, I think people can only understand two or three words, but I'm really. Uh, passionate with learning this language and um, it's uh, it's very uh, interesting because uh, I think that people who are uh, I understood how hard it can be for people who you know who are from Arabic countries I'm very surprised that they can speak so easily English or French or whatever because uh, the system of thinking the way of thinking the, the language is so different and I'm really amazed about uh, the ability of uh, Arabic speaking people to, to speak another language. So, you know, uh, I, I think as uh, a, an Occidental uh, person, uh, always learning French, English, and, you know, Occidental languages, you don't understand how hard it can be for other people speaking uh, languages such as Arabic or maybe even Chinese or Japanese and so on. It's uh, 
uh, how they can be struggling with that. And uh, it's really, for me, it was very interesting to feel this, to see how uh, it can be difficult to to switch, to skip from uh, one language to the other. It's uh, very interesting. So, but I love uh, to learn Arabic. Uh, actually, I'm very proud to, uh, to write and read from uh, right to left and so on <laughs> and to you know to understand these letters and uh, i'm very excited about it awesome have you been already to to any of the arabic uh, speaking countries yeah 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 um you know there is a strong connection anyway between france and arabic speaking countries so true. yeah and uh, i have been many times to beirut that's why this picture is there and uh, and by the way the artist uh, who did this picture did this picture uh, in a time as she was contained, locked down, you know, um, and so that's a, a quite interesting story behind this. And um, uh, yeah, I love, by the way, I love Lebanon. That's why I have a picture of uh, Beirut in my apartment. I have a, uh, a kind of crush for, for this country and uh, Lebanese people um, <laughs> for whom I wish, you know, a, a lot of, uh, I wish they will have one day a wonderful destiny that they really definitely deserve. Actually, it's uh, wonderful. They are so wonderful true. people. Yeah. 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 yeah uh, again, you know, uh, we're hoping and praying uh, that both Lebanon and Syria come out yeah. of the tensions that they are in, uh, and we get to also enjoy the the culture of these lovely countries. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Thank yeah. you for sharing that, uh, Pascal. Uh, now, going forward in time to present day. Uh, what is your biggest leadership challenge that you're facing right now? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm really in the middle of it right now because uh, uh, Net Reviews, which uh, you know uh, recently changed its name into Skippers, uh, is a new group, uh, a new fast-growing uh, group because we are going to be to make many external growths and. Um, there is a real leadership challenge behind this, creating a group, a, a new group identity and culture, and uh, having you know all uh, every people uh, fitting into this culture and uh, being proud working for this group and so on. So there is a real, uh, a real challenge of leadership of uh, you know um, convincing everyone. And uh, you know, having them working together and uh, looking in the right direction uh, in the future, and like on my ski picture, you know, <laughs> yep. uh, you know, aiming for looking the top ahead. of the mountain. Yep. Um, so it's a, a it's a huge challenge uh, actually in terms of leadership uh, when you do you know external growth and welcome people, and uh, it's uh, it's very interesting. See, I, I can tell you, you're already doing a good job of it. And I'll, I'll share a, an interesting story that I, I had from last week. Uh, so, you know, I'm putting together Uplift APAC on the 19th of November. So we were speaking to some of our, our uh, customers, our partners. Uh, Zenium was one of them. And the reason they chose to speak at our event is because you had spoken at the Uplift DMA uh, Summit. Uh, and he said that, you know, I've, I've heard Pascal, of course, he didn't know you uh, directly, but he knew of Net Reviews and they had done some business. They had been uh, following your company for a while. Uh, so he said that, yeah, the reason I'm speaking at your event is because Net Reviews spoke. At yeah, that's the best thing you could tell me this morning. You know, uh, <laughs> you were asking for a reason to wake up every morning. This is exactly the kind of things. You know, uh, I want to hear and uh, discover every day. And uh, so I was right to wake up this morning and having this moment with you. Every, every uh, Thursday, 10 a.m., if you tune in to Insider's YouTube channel, you'll have our live BTT videos. And we have amazing speakers like yourself, amazing thought leaders like yourself, who've lived these extraordinary lives, who have these amazing mindsets. And I think that's, that's the need for the hour of why we created this this series and the show is because we want to put together these stories that you bring to to everyone that people do not know of right your love for languages your uh the positivity that you you portray how you go to sleep <laughs> as you mentioned right with spotify's uh, meditation music so it's it's amazing to to get that sneak peek into the lives of amazing professionals like yourself um and i think everyone needs that that bit of positivity every day 
Yeah, I will wake up every every Thursday for my <laughs> love you for that, Pascal. So uh, now we are going f uh, future. Uh, you know, we are hoping to to look for a brighter, better future. And as you mentioned, you want to climb that summit even with net reviews. So, what are your hopes for the future? Well, my hopes are more uh, personal than uh, professional. Uh, and this question is a bit tricky because if I answer it, I will sound like a beauty patient. <laughs> you know? So, yes. You are beautiful, for the future, Pascal. For the future, I want peace and love and happiness on, uh, on Earth and social justice as well and fairness. Uh, this is maybe something we are, we are missing right now. Uh, uh, you know, I think people, uh, all people on Earth, on Earth, are looking for for some fairness. I think, and I hope yeah. uh, we will be able to to build it uh, all together. Of course, uh, I, I'm continuing my beauty pageant speech, okay? But <laughs> save the nature, please. We only have one Earth. Do something, and um, and uh, something I made more specific that that I mentioned. Uh, uh, for uh, Lebanon and Syria, you know, I, I want them to to get the, the future they, they deserve. Uh, I, I would be very happy if something would change in these countries, and uh, uh, and so that's my wish for the future. And my wholehearted prayer as well from my heart, from the depths of my heart, I'm hoping that will come to pass. Um, Let's get to know a little bit more about the fun side of you, Pascal. You know, what's the what's the one weird fact about you? Well, um, there. Are, I think uh, I think it can be a very weird person, but <laughs> you know, I, uh, it's you know we have to keep this information between you and me, and I hope nobody no else. No listening. Is. Okay, <laughs> that's, that's cool. But the, yeah. one of the weirdest thing about me is uh, maybe that I, uh, you know, I talk a lot, but I talk as well a lot with myself. Uh, I, I can't help it actually, and uh, uh, the good thing is that. Uh, uh, People now are thinking I'm having a mobile phone conversation with someone when you see me talking, coaching alone. And I, as I was younger, people were thinking I was just crazy and needed help. And now people are thinking I'm having a phone call. So that's not that weird anymore. But I talk a lot with myself. Yeah. It, uh, that's, uh, did you know even Albert Einstein actually spoke a lot to himself? I uh, know. I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know that. He would he would theorize in his mind, but of course he didn't want to keep it down, so he would of course talk a little bit louder, uh, or not really announcing it, but speak uh, speak uh, to himself. And people thought he was a quack because of it, but in fact he was having genius conversations, self reflecting on his own uh, hypotheses and his theories. So hey. Uh, you wow. are as smart as Albert Einstein there. Yeah, wow. That, uh, I really, <laughs> I, really <laughs> I, was, I was right to wake up this morning and to, <laughs> to have this time with you. <laughs> can, I, can I come back tomorrow morning and uh, every day until next Thursday? Can we do it Always, again? always, oh, Pascal. In fact, I'm going to hunt down for reasons to have you uh, on stage with us at Insider. So uh, I'm going to definitely find those with you. And there are loads of reasons to have you on stage. Okay, cool. Nice guy. Thank so, uh, uh, last question, keeping in mind that we have the, the uh, time for podcast. What was the proudest moment in your life? Oh, um, actually, it's uh, I've been very proud for a, a, a small thing, actually, but uh, I don't know. I cannot explain why it has been so exciting for me and uh, made me so proud. It was the day I, I had my boat driver boat driver license. Actually, awesome. uh, it has been one of the most important moments of my life, and I. Uh, I still try to to understand with my shrink why actually but it, <laughs> uh, it has been really important for me and I've been very proud to have this boat driving license. Uh, it was you know three years ago. It's very recent, so I spent many years without proud, and I am proud since three years because I I have my my uh, boat driving license. Awesome! Did you buy a boat as well? No. Not yet. Uh, please don't ask me if I've been uh, <laughs> driving a boat since. Don't ask this question. I won't 
there we go. You have a boat license. It's amazing to already yeah. know that you've uh, you've got that proud moment, right? I wish I could uh, I could drive a boat as uh, as at least even get a license. No, thank you so much, Pascal. This has You're been welcome. an amazing Beyond the Title with you. Uh, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, thank you for inviting me. I really had a, a nice time. And I'm proud, actually, to, to share with Insider because everybody is talking about Insider in France right now. So I was there. I know them. I know you. <laughs> Philippe, Nico, and Jonathan are going to be ecstatic hearing that. Uh, and I know they are also watching us live right now. So thank you so much, Pascal. And hope to see you for another Insider yeah, event please. soon. I will enjoy it. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye. Now, for all of you out there, if you're watching us, thank you for tuning in. Watch us every Thursday, 10 a.m. CET, and now 5 p.m. Singapore time. We are here every Thursday with new and amazing speakers. Uh, if you want to uh, add yourself to the BTT program, please do write to us. You can reach me on LinkedIn or any of our channels through YouTube. I look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you so much, and have a great day and week ahead. Bye-bye.